Hi, it's Keith from ProTutor here, and we're working on an intermediate algebra homework problem involving the factoring of quadratic trinomials. And so before we dive in and uh, start tackling some of these problems, let's just quickly uh, review the two steps to actually uh, factoring these. And uh, step one here is um, to find and factor the GCF uh, from each of the terms. And then step two is to um, fully factor the remaining quotient. And so um, pretty straightforward and um, and really in this case it's just the devils and the details um, as uh, sometimes they'll throw things at you and you can barely even recognize it um, as uh, as being a quadratic as is the case in the example that the um, that was submitted here. So why don't we start off first with just a, uh, a simple example to kind of illustrate this and then we'll dive into the actual problem that was asked. 18x squared plus 3x minus 36. And so step one um, asks us to find the GCF of each of the terms. And the GCF then of um, 18x squared, 3x, and negative 36 is just going to be 3. And so what we do is we rewrite um, that uh, with factoring out the 3. That um, 18x squared plus 3x minus 36. So that's going to leave us with 6x squared plus x minus 12. Then with um, step two, our job is to factor the remaining bit here. Um, and let's see, so that's going to be 6x squared plus x minus 12. To fully factor this one, we've got a non-monic quadratic, uh, and non-monic meaning that this is Co leading coefficient here is different from 1. And so what we do, um, there's a few ways that we can solve these. Um, the way I'm going to use is called splitting the middle. And so uh, splitting the middle term, and you'll see why in just a moment, why uh, it's called that. But what we do is it's very similar to just solving the regular uh, or the standard monic quadratics. And we just look to these two um, numbers here, the product of those two, 6 and negative 12, is negative 72. And we look at the coefficient here on the b term is 1. And so we look for factors of 72 that add to 1. So, um, and so what we would do is we'd hunt down um, the factors that just like we would the um, in the case of the monic quadratics, and we'd find that those uh, factors are going to be um, nine and eight, with because they need to add together to give you positive one, that the, uh, the nine needs to be positive and the eight needs to be negative. So nine times negative eight is negative seventy-two. Nine plus negative eight is going to be one. So what we do now with the 9 and the negative 8 is we rewrite this middle term here as the sum of these two numbers. Um, and uh, Or the coefficients, technically speaking, we have a 1 coefficient here. And so what we re really want to do is um, rewrite the coefficient as uh, plus 9 and negative 8. And so it's 6x plus 9 minus 8 times uh, x minus 12 and that gives us 6x squared plus 9x minus 8x minus 12 and um, what that gives us then is uh, four terms and we use the left we look at the left pair um, and we group those, and we group the right-hand pair as well. And just watch this subtraction here that we don't inadvertently distribute it. 
uh, by changing this to a plus a negative 8x. And then we look for our common factors on each, the, the left hand and the right hand side, and just factor those out. We, we rewrite 6x squared minus 9x as 3x uh, times the quantity 3, uh, 2x rather plus 3. And then we look for common factors over here, negative 4 times the quantity 2x plus 3. And then just factor out the 2x plus 3. Um, and that leaves us with 3x minus 4. Which means that our 3 times the quantity 6x squared plus x minus 12 is really just equal to 3 times 2x plus 3 times 3x minus 4. And that's our answer. So pretty straightforward, um, especially once you are able to uh, split the middle. And remember, we call it, um, or most more correctly, is splitting the middle term. Um, and remember, we call it splitting the middle because what we're doing is we're literally splitting the x that we had here and rewriting it as 9x minus 8x. So now to um, move on to the, uh, the problem that we were specifically asked about here, um, we have 6 times the quantity x plus 4y squared plus 81x plus 4y and minus 135 times x plus 4. Same steps, step 1. GCF of each of the terms. And in this case, um, unlike the last one, we actually have um, not just constants, but we also have expressions in another variable. It's okay, we just treat those just like they were constants because what we're looking for is um, uh, factoring in terms of the uh, quadratic or quadratic and y. So the GCF here, it looks like if we just, I mean, obviously we're going to have x plus 4. It's going to be one of the terms. Um, and we look for constants, look for GCF for our constants. Looks like uh, the only two factors of 6 um, are going to be 2 and 3 and 6, 2, 3, 6. So it looks like uh, 3 is going to be the, um, the only factor. It's going to go into uh, 81 and 135 as well. So it looks like our divisor is going to be, or our, com our greatest common factor is going to be 3 times the quantity x plus 4. And that's going to leave us with um, 2y squared um, plus 27y um, minus, was that 45? Yeah, 45. And um, so from there, we're in good shape because we are on to step two, which is just to factor the remainder, remaining quotient there. And um, so what we have is a problem that's very similar to just the one that we worked on over here on uh, the last problem. So we're looking for factors of 2 times negative 45, which is negative 90 that add up to 27. So when we ponder that for a bit, we find that the um, factors of negative 90 adding to positive 27 is going to be plus 30 and a minus 3. So we need to rewrite 2y squared plus 27y minus 45 um, splitting the middle term and split the middle term using 30 and negative 3. 2y squared plus 30y minus 3y minus 45. And notice when we split the middle term 
we're not changing the value of the expression that's why we're able to do it it just happens to be that when we split it we we found the factors uh, we split it such that we can always find um, common factors so that we'll be able to factor it um, so we group the left hand side and remember we not to uh, inadvertently distribute the minus so whenever we have a minus there that we need to change that to a plus a negative so we just group that the right hand side and look for the GCF here on the left hand side is going to be 2y y plus 15 plus a negative 3 y plus 15 factor the y plus 15 2y minus 3 times y plus 15 and that's going to give us um, our answer here which is uh, let's write that up here um, as 3x plus 4 2y minus 3 is y plus 15 and that's that's our answer so the tricky part to that problem is not so much um, doing the splitting the middle which is fairly straightforward it's just recognizing um, that you have the common factors that can be pulled out and that you are quadratic and y um, so you have uh, this is kind of a new concept because most of the problems that we drill on initially just have um, the coefficients are just constant. Um, in this case we actually had expressions too. So whenever we can factor those out we're able to use the same principles of uh, the, the basic principles of quadratics factoring um, to uh, fully factor the quadratic. So uh, if, as always, if you have any questions about this, we'd be happy to uh, answer them. And uh, thanks for watching.